Hi friends, welcome back to Gamers Fun Lane. Today we're going to continue playing Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door for the Nintendo Switch. File 2, start. So last time we went back to Rogueport and we uh, talked to Frankly. We put the crystal star in the door, talked to Frankly, and um, found out we have to come here for the pipe to Twilight Town, but I believe it rejected us, and we wrote our names on our backs, or like a Twilight Town person wrote our names on our backs, and yeah, we can enter now. We just have to get to the pipe. Should be right this way. How many shine sprites we have? We actually have three. We can go upgrade someone. Has been quite some time since I last played, like about a month. So, yeah. Um, actually, is everyone already upgraded? Oh yeah, everyone's already upgraded. Okay, so when we get our next partner, we can instantly upgrade them. So let's just go back. Okay. Um, let's not hit a wall, but go this way. Fall in. Okay. Now use Yoshi or Luigi to go here. And now we should be able to enter. Chapter 4. For pigs the bell tolls. Ooh. This Twilight Town? Yep. Twilight Town. Okay. Hug, this place gives me the creeps. Is this Twilight Town? Hey. It's been a long time since anyone come from outside. You've come for something? Yeah, those clothes of yours. I'm pretty sure you guys might be adventurers, right? Is it a bad time for you to arrive? Wait, but you're adventurers. Maybe it's the perfect time. Wait, what? A bad time? What do you mean by that? Come on, tell me. <laughs> gee, oh, gee whiz, I don't know. It's a scary tale here. It's scary to tell, too. There's a bell. Oh, no, the bell rang again. Oh, this is so awful. Who could it be now? Whoa! Oink, oink, oink. Whoa, that's w that was the craziest thing I I've ever seen. What's going on in this weirdo town? <laughs> oh, badness. Now poor Gloomer got turned into a pig. Not good. Who are you? Who are you, Gramps? <laughs> I'm the mayor of this poor town. Some call me Do Dower. I'm not exactly the sharpest fellow, but I do believe you're adventurers, right? <laughs> this isn't the place for, t for the telling of tales, sadly. Come, come to my home. Here's your home. That one? Guess so. Hot crows and pigs. <laughs> My traveling friends, welcome to Twilight Town. Well, I'd like to welcome you. But welcoming people is generally a good uh, but welcoming people is generally a good thing. And it's not nothing but bad here. Hmm? As you may have guessed, our town has been cursed. Whoa! Whoa, cursed? Yes, cursed. That's the right word, right? Yes, of course it is. You see, beyond uh, town is a forest, and in this uh, in it, in its heart, it's an ancient building, the creepy steeple. The dark creature who lives there, its curse ordains that when the steep uh, steeple bell rings, one of the twilighters living here uh, in the village becomes a pig. Though my loves once become swine, will I too become a curly-tailed oinker? I'm so worried I can't sleep at night. Of course, night and day are pretty similar here. If this keeps up, well, the village will be one giant pig pen, which would be bad. Let me give you some advice. Leave us. Leave before you too get pigified. No, it's not going to happen, Gramps. We're looking for something really important. Hey, you heard of her. It's a star-shaped rock called Crystal Star. Uh, I don't know about any crystal star thing, but in Creepy Steeple is a glittery, glittery red stone shaped like a star. 
Well, are you serious? That's gotta be the crystal star. Gotta be. Uh, you people. You aren't thinking of going creepy steeple, are you? Brr, unthinkable. Welp. I guess this town has a curse for turning into a pig when you... Oh, oinkity oink. When you... When the bell, um... Rings. So, yeah. Um... Where should we go? Guessing east? Um, first let's save. Good. Okay. So, this town is pretty big. I guess it's actually the same size as everything. I think Creepy Steeple is to the right. Oh, even the... Um, flower here is like dark and spooky. Okay. Hey, we kinda need to go. A nasty monster lives in the woods past here. I'm serious, that's what somebody said. If you still want to go through, even he even after hearing that, you need the mayor's permission. Oh man, the old monster beyond the town gate thing. Isn't that kind of a sitch? You gotta be kidding me. Fine, let's go last. Okay. Uh, I think we have to enter here. Someone say sniff sniff. Oh, are you okay? Oh, it's a cu oh a customer. I'm sorry, we're not open right now. Why? Huh? Why am I crying? My husband's been turned into a pig. A pig. My husband went to the woods yesterday to collect herbs, but no husband came home. Instead, a pig returned. This pig. We got we got in a fight before he left, and I call him a chavin, uh, chavinst pig. And now he really is a pig. But he was a sweet side too, like uh, cooking my favorite food. And, and when shoppers get rude, I, uh, he says, uh, she's speaking really fast. I can't even read what she's saying. Um, yeah, we got it. Your, your uh, husband turned into a pig. So, are you even listening? Yep. So, hey, could you figure out some way to restore my husband to normal? I'll do whatever I can do to help. You can even take whatever you want from the storeroom if you might help. You, if it might help, you know? Um, sure. It's locked. What's that? The storeroom's locked? My husband must have taken a key with him and lost in the woods. Well, um, can't go do anything here if the shop ain't open. Let's go talk to the mayor. Oh? Oh, the bell rang. Whoa! The bell rang, Gonzalez! Does that mean someone's gonna... Boy, I'm psyched it wasn't my turn to get pigged. Okay, well, I wonder who it is. Okay. Let's go to the mayor's house. Um, it seems like everyone outside is perfectly fine. Maybe someone that was inside a building. Oh, the mayor turned into a pig. Whoa, this ain't good. Don't you think this pig is the mayor? What are we going to do now? We need to that dude's okay to pass through the gate. Well, that's not good. We need to find another way. Maybe we could just convince him. Okay, oh, the bell rang again. Who is it this time? Oh, she's still crying. Now this guy turned into a pig. Whoa, the gate guy's gone. Oops, nope, not gone. The stubborn dude's a pig. Well, hey, that's actually pretty sweet for us. No pig's going to get out, way. Just walks away. Check. Okay, we can open this now. Okay, first things first, I think we need to push this. Yeah, you can see there's like, um, marks on the ground which shows we can push it. And, a black key! That must mean one of those chest things. Black chests are here. Like this, okay. I think we should switch to Goombella because I think there's new enemies. Um, yeah. Green Goombas. Oh, a mushroom. Hey. Okay. You struck first. Oh. Uh, there's a few new enemies. This Goomba, the Green Goomba, the Green Para Goomba, and a flower. Let's jump on this flower, I guess. And, okay, luckily they don't die. Let's tattle on this Green Goomba. 
And there. 8 HP to attack and 0 defense. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we know he's going to go crazy. So he can, like, charge up. Like that. Now he has plus 6 attack. Which is quite a lot. That guy also does the same. And what does the uh, flower do? She sings. Regarded her. Let's jump on the green Goomba here. And tattle. Oh, uh, we want that. Let's tattle. Oh, and we got a coin. Tattle on the flower. And it's called a crazy daisy. 7 HP, 2 attack, 0 defense. Okay. And so if she sings and it hits you and you don't guard it, it'll actually make you sleep. And I uh, I could probably super guard the Goomba, the pair Goomba, but that will make him a normal Goomba. So I don't want to do that. Tattle. And do that. Because if he turns into a normal Goomba, we won't be able to tattle on him. So yeah. Uh, same thing as a normal Hyper Goomba, except it's flying. So it's invulnerable to normal hammers. That's uh, normal jump. Like that. And... What attack? Nope, it charges up. Okay, we should be able to feed it then. Get healed 1 HP. Attack, head bonk. And there. You got six star points. Okay, that brings us to 85. Okay. Oh. Oh, it's the charm. Uh, does it double the coins? Uh, charm increased your coins threshold. So we just got a whole bunch of coins. That's nice. We got a super mushroom. Okay, oh no. Um, there. You struck first. Okay. Four damage. Good. And jump on him. He has an item. So he's down. And head bonk this guy. Oh, we did not time it correctly. He ups his attack. What about the pair Goomba? It also ups its attack. Okay. Jump. Like that. And let's turn this guy into a normal Goomba as well. Okay. And... Oh, okay. We failed the super guard. That time we did it. And we got healed jump on this guy and if we time the head bonk correctly we should be able to feed him hopefully we can get a level up soon because that'd be nice i think i'll increase bp got nine okay there are only six more if we do one more battle we should hopefully be able to get enough star points oh um uh, ruin powder okay what's in this a coin Oh, we haven't tattled on this guy. Okay. Um. Let's hammer him. Luckily, there's three of them. Good. He's down. Tattle. Okay. And. Uh, 8 HP, 3 attacks, 0 defense. Okay. Hyper Spiky Goomba, same thing as a uh, normal Goomba, a uh, normal Hyper Goomba, except it's spiky, so it does a bit more damage. And it also charges up like that, so it can do a total of 9 damage, which is quite a bit. Okay, and hammer, normal hammer, and good. I think I want to switch... Uh, Goombella to Koops. 
Super guard, good. Another super guard. And hammer. Good. And now Koops can do a shell toss. Like that. Good. And now uh, one more hammer should do the trick. Nope. Oh, he ups his attack. Okay. And we will be getting a level up because we only have six star points. So that's good. Go up BP. Because there's a badge we got last episode. I think we got the Power Plus badge. So yeah. And... Level up. Yay! And let's go with BP. From 12 to 15. Our HP heals. Our FP gets fully recovered. We got a bunch of star points. Mario became a B-list star. Next battle, Mario's crowdland stage will, be it will get bigger. Okay, that's good. And... Get this. Oh, this has a lot of coins. Okay. And, oh, here's a pig. Hroink! And there's a key, so let's get it. If we can. Shop key. Okay. Okay. And let's get Luigi out. No, not Goombella. Not, not Goombella. Luigi. Okay. And let's go this way. Okay. And this is the one with the hut. And... Go to the store. And... Now we can go here. Shop key. And let's see what's inside. Little items. Oh, and another black chest. Okay, let's get that. Jam and Jelly restores 50 FP. Get a life stream, that'll be useful. What's in this? Defend Plus. And let's talk to this guy. Hold up. Hey, who's there? I just heard a voice. There's no way that people could be here. Seriously, that's just so unlikely. Huh? What's that you say? You've seen a chest like this before? Get out of here. No, no. I'm not like those chests, I promise. Look at my eyes. Tell me I'm lying. I don't see any eyes. No, I'm not. Seriously, just get me out of here. You'll see. Don't make me beg. What? Come on, you know how ridiculous y I you sound right now. I'm laughing in here. <coughs> You honestly think I'm going to curse you when I get out? Curse you? Well, I did plan on doing something to you, but that's not much a curse as a, well, a really wonderful new ability that will allow you to go to special places. Doesn't that sound nice? <coughs> uh, come on, please, just find this key and open the chest, okay? We already did that. We already found the key. I know it's near this town somewhere. I just can't go look for it myself. Because I'm in here. So pretty, pretty please. Wait, is that? Oh my, oh my, you only found the key. Oh, happy day. Here you go. <laughs> Wee hee. Fools. Mario still looks surprised. Even though he's encountered this two other times. What are you expecting? Did you think a lovely lady would pop out or something? Now I'm gonna hit you with the king of curses, the cursiest curse ever. Fear my terrible power. You will now have the pain of having your body roll up real small. Be cursed! Wee <laughs> now you're cursed, loser. Save all your fe suffering. When this curse strikes you, you won't even be able to walk. You'll be forced to roll around as a tacky tube. Wee <laughs> your suffer amuses your suffering amuses me, and so I laugh. Now I should uh, now show me your cursed plight so I can laugh all the more. Just press and hold ZR, then rotate the left stick rapidly, like that. 
Hehehe, <laughs> your pathetic misery thrills me to the core. When you're in that form, you must roll everywhere like some embarrassing, ex embarrassingly extruded wheel. I, I want to get a good long look at you in this pitiful form. Now roll, roll like a dr like drop butterscotch on the sidewalk. So now we're small and can roll really fast. Okay. <laughs> well, do you see how pitiful and tubular you are? When the suffering becomes too much, press B to revert to your normal self. Don't forget. So, what's funny is that even though they curse us, we don't even have to um, experience like the change of the curse. So tell me, do you now understand your eternal cylindrical agony? I understand. <coughs> Sorry. I leave you to suffer, fools. Wee hee hee Goodbye. Wee. Um, if you want to, like, know more about those chests, you open the storeroom, I see. Feel free to take whatever you want out of there. There's a good trade for chance, I think, to get my husband back, I think. No sense of fretting, though. I should get the store ready for business. I sure wish I had my husband back in normal form to help me run the place, you know? So, if you want to know more about those chests, there's actually, like, a person in Rogueport that you can pay to tell you more about, like, the story of the game and, like, what happened with, like, the Great Calamity and Rogueport a thousand years ago. So, yeah. Now, let's open this. And that, um, will be it, actually. Let's just first do that. So, yeah. That's it for today, friends. Thank you so much for watching. We're trying to hit 200 subscribers before the year ends. So if you could subscribe, that help a ton. You can like and share the video so it becomes a bit more popular and a bit more suggested. That's it for today, friends. Bye!